Good morning aboard the Disney Wonder for our final day at sea on our approach to Hawaii. There's a lot of Hawaiian things going on around the ship. Mm -hmm. You've got characters that are dressed up in their Hawaiian gear. What a nice stroll. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> aboard the Disney Wonder. We haven't left. For our final day at sea on our approach to Hawaii. Are we gonna see the island soon? I hope so, that would be kind of cool. Probably not, I bet you it's gonna be in the wee hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. But we've got a lot of fun activities planned today. There's a lot of Hawaiian things going on around the ship. Mm -hmm. You've got characters that are dressed up in their Hawaiian gear, mm -hmm. which is pretty awesome. Yeah. And then you even have Frozen tonight. And which is the complete opposite of Hawaii. We should have done true. that in Vancouver. <laughs> it's very opposite of Hawaii. But yeah, it's going to be a fun day, and we're inviting you guys to join us. So if you're ready for our final sea day, let's, let's go. go. So we got a quick check of the ocean. Not like glass like it was yesterday, but still very smooth sailings and very blue. You can tell we're getting close to paradise. So quick bridge report update on the stateroom television. You'll see we're getting close on our approach to Hawaii. Disney Dreams out in the Bermuda Island. Fantasy's doing a Western Caribbean run. We've done that before. Don't know where the magic and uh, the wish are, but the wish is probably doing the Bahamas as well. Yep, there's the fantasy. Going to Cozumel. We did that. That was fun. Look at that weather. 81 degrees today. So long, cold weather. There it is. Coming close to Hilo and Honolulu and Kahului, which are all ports of call that we're going to make on this trip. Oh my gosh. It's Mickey and friends in their Hawaiian outfit. Oh my all God, their them. Hawaiian outfits? Even Chip and Dale. <laughs> Yesterday they were in their um, nautical outfits, and today they're all in their Hawaiian outfits and Chip and Dale are with them. Well, I know what we're doing now. Get down there. Hi! Hey guys! <laughs> Looking great! I love it! Hi. High five! Hi, Mickey. <laughs> oh my goodness. You look great, guys. You really do. All of you look great. <laughs> what a great photo. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Thanks, Thank you guys. guys. We'll see you around, okay? <laughs> Here we are on the pool deck, and they're playing Little Mermaid on Funnel Vision. But we're really up here because they've got a float ring prop out for photos that Jen's been wanting. It's what? I didn't realize we stopped over there. Oh, yes. But look, it's actually a different... Uh, Hawaii. Yeah, it says Hawaii in the middle now. That's going to be exciting. we got to get this picture. Yeah. Check it out. It says Hawaii right in the middle with Minnie and Mickey. That's cool. see Chanel, the naturalist on this cruise. Talk about Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaiian Island time. The organization that I work for is called Conservation International. So they're an environmental NGO that works across the globe, across um, 70 different countries I see here. And my role is a marine and heritage director focused on Asia Pacific. This is my office, I suppose you would call it. <laughs> It's a great office, but not when you've got kids. When you've got kids, your office time gets a little bit less, and the computer time a little bit more. Um, I put this up here just so you see the, the breadth of the 
areas that I, that I work at and uh, some of my experience. This shows our settlement path as Polynesians that settled our blue planet. Because when you look at the planet, all you see is blue, and that is the Pacific Ocean. And that was the domain of my ancestors that covered this area, 10 million square kilometers. And it was known as the Polynesian Triangle. I'm just going to give a few examples of some of the mythology of origin stories in some other islands. And then you start, we'll start putting the pieces together and how they are very quite similar. For instance, in Samoa, our origin story starts with Tangaloa. And he pulled out the rocks in order to rest. Because he could do everything, but gods get tired. So he needed to rest. He pulled up the islands from the sea. So this is this is Taro. He was confined in an egg. There's a rumia. And it comes from a cosmic egg mythology, which is apparently also born in a lot of Asian mythology. And he grew weary of the confines of that egg and pushed and wanted to expand. Like the Big Bang. Getting light out of the darkness. So we have these myths that all these oral stories carry these cultural messages. And these myths have these truth these foundational truths for them. They're not fanciful. They might exaggerate a little bit. But who ever tells a story that's not exaggerated? <laughs> You'll also note here that this is Hanalo. So that's the Hawaiian god of the sea. And now we're just in a new age, and we're using the tools at hand. And I guess I will say this, you know, when Disney brought out Moana, they did five years of research before actually releasing it. So they did a lot of research in the region and understanding Polynesian culture and the myths and the legends. So if you do watch my wa Moana, who here has seen Moana actually? Oh, okay. <laughs> then you understand Polynesian culture. I don't need to be here. <laughs> I put that up there to show you this is the area we're coming into now. Sailing from around here. And we're going to be hitting this hot spot of geological activity. <coughs> These are the islands groups. That is the big island. That's Hawaii. Biggest mountain on Earth. Did everyone know that? Yeah. Bigger than Everest. If you're measuring from the top of Manukia to the base. Biggest mountain on Earth. Along the more immediate Hawaiian archipelago, you've got your northwestern Hawaiian Islands, which is in a marine sanctuary at the moment, which is great. It's been a lot of work to get it that way and get that extended. And that, that national monument is called Papahana Mokuakea. <laughs> and that's how, over the eons, this ridge was formed, as the Pacific Plate here keeps on moving, slowly and slowly, from that one magma spot. So you can see how it created the 6,000 kilometer chain. So within Hawaiian mythology, Pele was the descendant of her mother and the sky father. And she is said to have created the fire for these islands. She was born in Tahiti and then banished. So you can see she wasn't born from the islands. She came. She was banished because she was up to no good with her sister's husband. <laughs> and so her brother, Kamaho Ali, he was the king of the sharks. He wanted to help her and he got her a canoe to just get up to Hawaii and get away from things. And so she landed in Hawaii, uh, Kauai. But her sister followed her there, wanting to extract revenge. And she sent her tsunamis and the like. And she thought she had killed her there. But any minute she pops up in Oahu, in Maui, Molokai, running away. But her sister kept on following her. 
Everywhere she went though, she left these fire pits. So you see the crater Diamond Head in Oahu. That was one of her first stops as she was being chased away. Pele would continue to lose the battles until she escaped to the Hawaiian island, Big Island, where she dug her final pit at the Hala Mau Mau crater, the summit of Kalawe, where she still resides today. And the geologists have aligned some of that storytelling and mythology to actual volcanic events that were happening within the recordable future from those, uh, those stories. See, the tallest mountain is on the Big Island. Honolulu, beautiful seascape. It's the most populated of the, um, the Hawaiian archipelago. Kauai, it's the oldest island, 5.1 million years. Oh, and it has the largest coffee plantation in America. I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? No. Yeah. And it also grows some of the 3,300 3, pounds of taro a year, which is a lot. So now going into Hawaii, you'll see that um, taro is, is quite a staple there. They love to, to pound it as poi. In other parts of the Pacific and Polynesia, we, have, um, we just eat it with coconut cream and stuff. We don't pound it. Maui? takes its name from a demigod. And with that, mahalo. Thank you very much. So we just got out of our presentation with Chanel, mm -hmm. the National Geographic's Explorer. Yeah. That was probably the most interesting out of all his lectures. Yeah. Because it really goes into detail on the creation of the islands. And it goes into the mythology of the islands. It was really fascinating. Maui's stuff. real, guys. Maui's real. Maui's, Maui's real. real. But he talked about how Moana and Disney, or Disney spent years developing and doing research into Hawaiian and Polynesian culture mm -hmm. and mythology so that they didn't upset or offend the culture. Yeah. So as a result, Maui and the depiction of Maui is, is very real. reminiscent to how it is portrayed in the textbooks for that. Yeah. Which is pretty neat. So that is the final presentation of Chanel. I'm gonna miss Chanel. It was five lectures for the yeah. five C days. And I think this is a great way to end it because it kind of cherry picked a little bit of the islands that we're gonna be visiting. So yeah. it kind of gives a little backstory to the islands, which yeah. is pretty I cool. learned a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do we have next? We have a Polynesian experience to go to. Polynesian. Singing and dancing. In Azure Lounge. So let's go, I'm excited. Let's do it. <laughs> or for short, Adam. <laughs> and I'll be your guide today as we voyage through the Polynesian Islands. Now, as we start our voyage in the islands of Hawaii, the greeting word is Aloha. Aloha. Okay, you guys got it already. I like it, I like it. Now, in Hawaii, <clears throat> we have two different styles of hula, both the traditional as well as more modern forms. Now, the traditional kahiko hula is done by the men. And this specific one that our dancers are about to come out and show you, is, uh, it represents Wakea, the sky father. And this story talks about the early years of when Hawaii was born, as well as the hula awana. Now, that is a more modern form of dancing. Okay? Now, without further ado, our dancers from the islands of Hawaii.
Sky Father. And he's I'm not done for him! So they covered Hawaii, they covered Tahiti, they covered Samoa, Samoa yeah. they covered all of them, yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. It was really cool. It was cool to learn the different, or see the different dances. We didn't learn yeah. it, but gosh, their hands, like, I was just clapping along and my hands hurt, and they're like slapping their know, thighs. Right? And it's crazy. It was awesome. But it's all in preparation for what we're about to see soon Yeah. The actual islands. I will say, they have been the highlight of my career. Really? So I, it's far. so cool. Like they did was, the storytelling, the ukulele, and the hula dancing, the hula dancing, and now, and now the Polynesian yeah, dances. Yeah, it was, so it was awesome. really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get some lunch. Yeah. So somewhere beyond that horizon, there is Hawaii, the Big Island. Are we there yet? No. It's it's why they call it the most remote island. Oh yeah. yeah. In all the world. That's true. It only takes five days to sail there. But we slowed down so we could have sped up. It's true. I think we might have been getting there early if we kept the speed, so that's why we slowed down a well, little bit. Well, I also bit. think they wanted us to get in the warmth. Yeah. They want, they're like, get to the warmth. They were probably ready for it too, everyone who's been on the After trip. all the Alaska cruisings mm -hmm. they've been on? Absolutely. But look at this blue ocean water. We're coming up to Hawaii. All right, we're going to set up shop right here with these two chairs right in the shade overlooking the beautiful northern pacific ocean not far it's a little bit of a walk but not far from the food places oh, yeah. for lunch but this is a great reading area right here is that do you disney hear that Spring. that's disney springs music yes playing in the quiet cove area yeah that's totally disney springs it is so they're playing a game right now on the ship called hide and seek with the first officers. And for 45 minutes, these officers, which are normally on the bridge and behind the scenes, are dressing up as various 
uh, people or crew members. throughout the entire ship. So when I went to go get a slice of pizza, I recognized someone who was wearing a horrible wig <laughs> and earning his ears. And I saw these kids run up and they're like, are you a first officer? And he just handed them a sheet of paper. So I was like, well, now I want to know what's going on. <laughs> so then he handed me this and it says, I found the senior entertainment manager. That's so funny. So he's at the pizza place. I think it's funny because he was sitting there with a earning your ears button and like a horrible wig so he stood out like a sore thumb yeah. but like i kind of want to go find other ones throughout the ship like i wonder if there's like some in the shops or something like that yeah or, or like over at the ice cream stand but it's it is kind of funny because you see like a bunch of kids running up to people like the people that are like cleaning the deck and they're like are you a first officer and they're like no that's <laughs> <laughs> just awkward but it's kind of funny when you see him like he definitely looked out of place That's i watched I kids ask somebody and they look so confused and they're like oh hide and seek like you can see <laughs> like the they light, all know light they're like oh great it's hide and seek time <laughs> i think that's genius though like it's you want to talk about like easy. a funny game to play that everybody like i don't know it's kind of fun to see your boss behind like the counter yeah just kind of standing there awkwardly it's pretty cool it's easy too it is yes so yeah <laughs> Senior manager. Nice. Oh, there's Stitch. <laughs> I figured we'd see Stitch more. All right, it's Mickey time. <gasps> Finally. Finally, All get his signature on his own plush. I know. Where do you think he's gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm gonna give him the you don't know? There's. <laughs> Should be on his forehead. Right Everybody's there. avoided his face. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> I know. I'm wearing your shirt. <laughs> Hi. How are you, Mickey? Yeah. Good. Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Can you sign wherever is easiest for you? Wherever is easiest. <laughs> Minnie took your your heart there. That's she signed right at your heart. Maybe on the back. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're running out of room on the top <laughs> or in the front. Yeah. We have Bruno back. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Oh my God! How cute. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Mickey. <laughs> so we've got a signature of M Mickey Mouse. Your pal, Mickey Mouse. That's next nice. Next to Mirabelle and Bruno. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's turning out really great. It is. It's cute. Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. <laughs> oh, man. They're going outside. Do you want to go follow them? I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at them. <laughs> Don't want to get in her photo. They look amazing. We're going to walk with Chip and Dale. They're all good. Oh, you left your stuff over there? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice stroll. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Right oh. here? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, not in front of that door spot. anymore. Oh, okay. yeah. This is the good spot. <laughs> there we go. We got the sun. Wow. Beautiful. You picked a perfect scenery. Oh, stop. I know. I know. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, oh, yay! Dale's taking the taking the show. Oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. And one, two, three. Awesome. Thank Thanks, guys. guys. So much. Thank you, thank you. I love you. <laughs> so, here are tonight's backdrops the deck with the nighttime sky, and then a white screen. And oh, look at this. There's Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Goof! There he goes. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Classic Goof. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? Is he going to play the piano? No. <laughs> he wants to be the conductor. Uh. 
<laughs> nope, now your chance to. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Got excited. Yeah. Oh, here comes Daisy. It's like a character palooza. I know. <laughs> <laughs> then that just leaves you with Donald. That's it. Donald, right? and then like if we get Pluto? Captain Hook. No, you, I got Pluto. You got Pluto. Stitch. Stitch. Okay. And then like so Captain Donald Hook. and Stitch. Yeah. And maybe Captain Hook. Yeah. Okay. And it looks like over on the other side of the atrium is the Frozen backdrop, which is kind of funny. That would have made more sense when we were in Vancouver and not 200 miles away from Hawaii, but it is Frozen night. Um, yeah, whatever works best. Yeah, I think the low power would be the easiest. Yes. Uh, warm. Finally warm. And yet we're celebrating Frozen tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Hands on the hips. <laughs> oh, and then like... <laughs> Thank you so much. You look so beautiful today. <laughs> oh, love you. <laughs> All right, see you later. Aww. All right, we got Daisy. What does it say, love? Daisy Duck. Daisy Duck. And she's the last of the fab that we have yeah. to get, so. Well, no, you got Donald. Oh yeah, I gotta get gotta Donald. Gotta get Donald. What's Can't forget about next? Donald. When's he meet I next? know, right? I haven't really seen much of Donald. Have uh, you? I've seen his name on here. We've just been busy. I'll have to look. So according to the Navigator app, it says Donald meets again at 10 p.m. And Wait, it is literally that... the only time we can see him. All right. Well, I hope <laughs> we don't want to do anything else. <laughs> 10 o'clock. All right. 10 o'clock it is. Donald Duck. Priority number one. Yes. To complete the Mickey plush. Yes. Wanted to step outside and check out this amazing sunset. Our last sunset at sea before we arrive on the big island. Pretty, pretty amazing. Just absolutely amazing how blue the ocean gets the closer you get to Hawaii. So somewhere out there over the horizon is the island of Hawaii. We're only like 220 miles away from it. How come I can't see it? Well, that would leave no surprise for tomorrow morning. <laughs> I guess so. We're just gonna have to come out tomorrow morning and check it out. It'll be the first Time seeing land in five days. All right, we are heading down to the Walt Disney Theater because tonight is the showing of Frozen. A musical spectacular. A, yes, musical spectacular. We just got done reading and seeing characters. I read half my book. So now it's time to relax and watch a show as I don't trip over my own foot. Oh God. So what'd you think? The last stage show we have yet to see Frozen. Elsa had some vocal cords. She did. She did have some vocal yeah, cords. she was great. It was a pretty good show. I love the use of puppets. Mm -hmm. They use puppets. Not many shows that Disney does on the cruise line have puppets. So yeah. that was really cool to see some puppets. Um, overall, they, I think they hit just about every song from the movie. Well, it is a Frozen <laughs> music. I get it. I get it. But they tried to hit every song from that movie. Vocals were fantastic. Yeah. Special effects with projection mapping was really good. Really cool. There was like stuff in the fog. Yeah. And they had, of course, like the snope come down from the oh, ceiling on yes. top of the crowd. It was super cool. Yeah. Also, what was really fun was two rows in front of us, the cast that is going to be coming on board for the Australia sailings mm -hmm. uh, were very intently watching. It was really cute. Like, <laughs> when, they were so excited. When Elsa came out, the girl that we would presume to be the next Elsa was, was like all up in front in, of her yeah. seat. And then when Olaf came out, the person playing Olaf was very intently watching. Because yeah. we learned from the uh, Castaway Club celebration mm -hmm. that there are two casts currently on board right now. 
one learning the ropes in lieu of the Australia sailings, and then one that's going to be leaving the ship. So yeah. it's like a crossover. So that was really cool that they happened to be two rows in front of us. It was almost more entertaining watching them because yeah. they were getting so excited for their roles. Yeah, but... I think the one girl was like crying. Like, yeah, she was so excited. very cool. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go down to dinner now. Dinner is at Triton's, Triton's. which we have yet. not been to Triton's because we missed it for Paulo dinner. Mm -hmm. It's off to Triton's we go. Yeah, I know, right? So we're going to go downstairs and try Triton's out for the first time. Yeah. So here we are at Triton's, the final of three dining rotation menus. Here are your specialty cocktails. You got some appetizers. Ooh, lightly breaded baked eggplant. You got some soups. Here's the bread selection. is sourdough bread with roasted red pepper dip. And then for the main course, you got red snapper, fettuccine with Parmesan crusted chicken, pork tenderloin, vegetarian options. And if you're interested in the lighter notes, they've got some lighter note options. I'm just digging in, because <laughs> you know why not. Good bread. Delicious. Very good. Very good sauce. Oh yes, you got the red pepper dip. Very good. Very good. <laughs> All right, I actually oh, you like, went with the spoon. <laughs> I went with the spoon. We're going big or hard. going home. I do like this dip. Yeah, it's good. And I love sourdough. It's my favorite food. The crust is very crusty. Mm. <laughs> very garlicky, but it's got like that peppery taste. Mm. Love it. So I ended up getting the lightly breaded baked eggplant filled with sweet ricotta and mozzarella served on Toscano sauce and drizzled with aged balsamic vinaigrette. I don't think you got a good cut there. No, I didn't. Let me go a little bit further. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I feel like there was more flavor on the one that I had before mm. on the last cruise. I can't remember but I'll definitely finish it because it's good. That's good. And it's hot. That's yeah, for sure. your plate was hot. The plate was steaming hot. Let me try another one. It's not bad. It's not bad for an appetizer. So I got the marinated tiger shrimp with celery hearts and remoulade. Whoa. You and your seafood. Well, you know what? I got to take advantage of it because it's true. <laughs> good. Pretty good. Let me try the little. Oh, what, what is that? The remoulade. <laughs> Whoa. Eh, not your favorite. This is good though. Oh, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with shrimp. Can't go wrong with shrimp. <laughs> so I ended up getting the oven baked lobster tail with sun dried yeah. tomatoes, lemon yeah. pesto mash, and roasted asparagus. <laughs> this you is one. And your seafood. You know what? I don't have to pay for this lobster, so <laughs> I'm going to take advantage of it. Or I should say, I did pay for this one. <laughs> yeah, I think you did. I wasn't going to say that, but is, is it just a dance? Yeah, yeah. that's it. Oh. oh, it was good. OK, I was waiting for it. <laughs> that's my review. It's oh, good. Okay. I'm dancing. <laughs> OK. So I got the fettuccine with Parmesan crusted chicken. Chicken encrusted in Parmesan cheese with sweet peppers, mushrooms, and a cheddar cheese sauce. All right, here we go. Going right in to the chicken. I don't expect this to be like Paulo. Oh, it doesn't even look like it. <laughs> it's not bad. Okay. I wish it was a little bit crunchier. Mm. It's a little soft. Let me try. Um, How's your noodles? I was going to say the flavor is good on the chicken, though. And it's not dry. That's good. Which is very good. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 
your classic fettuccine alfredo is pretty much what that is. That's the review. It's good. It's good. Yes. Would you get it again? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would get this dish again. Okay. Since it's a lot of seafood. And I don't do seafood. So here is the dessert menu. Your specialty drinks, coffee, after teenies. And then for dessert, you've got the raspberry vanilla creme brulee, apricot trio, chocolate lava cake, Captain Table Sunday, and an old fashioned apple pie. And then the no sugar added is a chocolate cheesecake. Jen, what are you thinking? Uh, none of this is light. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure yet. Thank you. Jen, what did you get? We both got the lava cake. Because we're going to go see a volcano yes. tomorrow. Yes. It's served with double chocolate sauce and vanilla ice cream. <laughs> oh my god. Not single chocolate sauce, double. Double chocolate. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. It's very good. Very good on the uh, chocolate there. Oh, you're going for the ice cream now. <laughs> oh wow, that's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Very good. Cross section. Whoa, look at that beautifulness. Okay, so there's no lava on the inside, oh. just like Kilauea right now. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. All right. <laughs> so Jen's making fun of my uh, Kilauea because it erupted like a month before we got here. Yeah. And I wanted to see it erupt and the timing just was almost there. So thank you for that dig. <laughs> Yep, just like Kilauea, empty on the inside. <laughs> no, she got lava. Mm. That's good. But I think, when did I get a, did I get a lava cake at another one? Apollo. It was Apollo? That one was you really good. You can't not, yeah. That one was really That's good. That's not fair though. You're right. You're right. You know what else isn't fair? What? Kill away and not having lava. Oh my it. god. All right. <laughs> We're cutting this now. All right. The towel animal this evening is. A platypus. What? That is not a platypus. <laughs> that is a gorilla. It's a gorilla. <laughs> it's a gorilla. Oh, I see it. That's a gorilla. But most importantly, sweets. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> that looks like a gorilla. I think it's a gorilla. Yeah, it's a gorilla. See, when <laughs> okay. you do that, it looks just like one. <laughs> so we're back at the stateroom to round out our final sea day. I'm ready to touch grass. <laughs> we, we have sailed 2,282 nautical miles because I'm looking at the screen right over there and the bridge report is on there telling us that. Anyway, we are going to be stopping at Hilo, Hawaii, touching foot with land for the first time in six days. It's gonna be exciting. I'm excited. We got some fun activities that we don't wanna spoil quite yet. I have a whole list. <laughs> but we got activities planned for every island. You don't wanna miss it. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet and you wanna join the Trek for future cruise vlogs and adventures like this, Jen, tell them what to do. Make sure to tap that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to become a super last day at sea subscriber. Until next time, <laughs> see you real soon. soon. Good morning from Hilo, Hawaii. All right, so we are headed to Volcano National Park. We rented a car and it's a tank <laughs> and it's really big. But we are headed to the National Park. Our ears are already kind of popping. I can feel it. The best view into the caldera bar now when it's not erupting. It's not any of that. Walk through the lava wall, continue walking down, take a ride, and you're not going to get a better view into the caldera. Holy cow.